what is up chill sick review nation so today i actually got a very unique cigarette to review in my opinion it is the viceroy switch so let's go over the history of it briefly the tagline is as goes uh viceroy's got a taste that's right as a dentist i recommend viceroy's honestly i think the tagline is pretty awesome because yeah. like uh <laughs> which which dentist would recommend cigarettes to smoke none other than viceroy's man so um my friend actually continue on for me Okay, so actually, Viceroy, so it was uh, introduced by Brown and Williamson, this company, in 1936, then later on acquired by R.J. Reynolds, which then merged with uh, British American Tobacco in 2004. So, as of now, it's mainly owned by British American Tobacco. Yeah. Okay, so let's go over the pack design. Over here, you can see the big Viceroy print in blue on a silver background. And it says here international blend so here you can see the classic v logo below it it says switch and there's a power button like capsule here that says click so on the back it actually says uh, quality guarantee and viceroy international blend below it it says new capsule filter and switch your taste anytime anywhere so i like to talk about the images on the left uh it actually shows the ball being the capsule being pressed as well as like it pulsating throughout the filter so i actually described about this in my previous video in the lt purple zooms like my my take on on what it's about lah <clears throat> so on the side it says uh british american tobacco group which is the current owner okay let's open it up so over here you can see there's a reseal as well as on top it says fresher for longer with the v logo so um the seal is actually pretty premium for a discount brand it's something similar to a fresh guard of marlboro so yeah i'll say that the seal is pretty awesome so below the cover it says <coughs> sorry click to release the fresh taste as well as the design of the cigarette and the ball being pressed and pulsating so we're not going to open it first lah. so let me just move on a bit on the design okay so you can see like silver and then red so this is actually the switch. It shows the switch, like, the transition. And actually this ball, if you press it right, you get a mixture of menthol and uh, reds. So this is quite, quite cutting edge, like, to be honest, this design. You don't really see it with uh, like other brands, you know. Mm. And I really love it. Like, yeah. Okay, so my take on this is that, um, honestly, it's quite visually appealing to the consumer's eyes. But then, then again, I would say that the silver should be something like... Uh, Blue or green, yeah. so as to represent menthol. Or maybe purple. Maybe purple but that's yeah. for like purple, purple that's for menthol. grape, grape yeah. cigarettes maybe. Yeah. But yeah, then again, it should be like blue or green, so as to like give a better visual appeal as well as the contrast with it, the show between menthol or reds. Also, I like to say that the click should be somewhere on the top because when you press it, it's menthol rather than it being below here. Okay, let's open it up. Okay, let's talk about the cigarette design so here you can see there's the power light button here uh the white in white on a silver circle as well as a classic red filter honestly i think that the contrast is there so it's like stands out it's pretty appealing also and also has one line of perforation and below that there's a, a thin gray silver line and below that also it says viceroy switch so straight away right just look at the filter it's actually quite firm pretty firm actually for a discount brand and it's actually quite good quality right mm. feels good uh. it feels firm in your fingers mm. yeah. all right without further ado oh wait before that <clears throat> so i'll actually be smoking it as a full menthol cigarette so i'll pop the ball from the start whereas for him he will pop the ball halfway through the cigarette so as to describe the transition from it being ritz to menthol so we'll give Two different uh, opinions on it, mm. yeah. Right off the bat, I would say that's a very smooth cigarette. It goes down very easily. There's also little to no aftertaste as well as chemical taste 
and I would say that <clears throat> the tobacco is actually pretty decent. So smoke density maybe a medium, low to medium la. Doesn't really uh, get in your face. For me, I would say it's pretty low because like as you can see from what I've been blowing out all the while. Okay, so I'm actually um, three to five puffs in. As you can see, I'm already uh, one quarter of the stick through. <clears throat> mm. Okay, so now I smoke about maybe six puffs. It's almost half, so I'm going. I'm just going to uh, pop the circle for you. Huh? Cherry. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's see the transition. Before that, I like to say that for menthol, like from the start as a menthol, I would say that it's a decent six point five out of ten. Okay, for the transition, I'm not really a fan of it. You know, I got reds at first, and then now this is like southern coolness on your tongue. So it's a bit jarring, doesn't really blend with the reds, you know, menthol and reds together. It's nothing that I fancy. La. But, um, rating, I guess I have to give it maybe uh, 3 or 4. Yeah, for mix. I mean, honestly, the reds was really good, so... That one I'll stick with a solid 6. Actually, prior to this, I also smoked one that was half hot, half cold. <clears throat> so I'll I also say that the wrist is 6 out of 10, and the mental is 6.5 out of 10. But then if it's in between, like I popped it halfway, then I'll give it a, two, a low 2 to 2.5 out of 10, because the transition is honestly not there. Like, it doesn't, it doesn't really flow that well. And my take on this is that it's something similar to leaving a menthol cigarette in a Ritz pack or vice versa. Like the tobacco from the Ritz just goes into the menthol and then when you smoke it, it's like uh, quite disgusting. Because like you don't get the full, the full taste of the tobacco. It's in between, so it's like uh, when you first light it up, it's, it's cold. Then after it progresses to Ritz and then there's this lingering menthol taste in your throat. So I'll, I would strongly recommend you not to, to pop it or pop it from the start. Like don't pop it halfway at all. Yeah. So either it being a full red cigarette or full menthol cigarette. Yeah. So actually my theory on this is like when you smoke the reds first and then after that you pop the ball right, you get this, some of this lingering reds taste in the cigarette really. So it kind of dilutes the thing. I yeah, say. dilutes. It dilutes it, yeah. It's not really palatable. La. Hmm. Yeah. Like, like I said before, it doesn't bring out the full flavor of the cigarette. Yeah. <clears throat> but then again, if you're like um, halfway through a red stick, you're like just craving menthol and you're curious, I like just bought a pack and curious, then why not try it out? Then you'll see for yourself what, how, how it goes. La. But this I'll take on it. La. So don't, yeah. Yeah. don't hold it against yeah, yourself. So you can get this at your local 7-Eleven in Singapore, of course. You can get this for like $12. And this after the price hike of about $1. Mm. Yeah. So actually it's slightly more than $1 la, price hike. Yeah. But I would say for discount brand, you know, it's still reasonable. You know, and it's definitely cheaper than your like Lucky Strike Reds or something. Mm. So overall... I think the target audience for this cigarette will be the youngsters, right? Definitely youngsters, definitely because, youngsters. Because like, um, if you just started out smoking and then like, um, you want to know what's reds and what's menthol, so like, why not give this a try because it has both of it together lah. I mean, even mm. as a seasoned smoker, you know, like, we've been smoking for quite a while, you know. We found this, we just actually just bought this today and, you know, we just wanted to try it out lah. So, this is our take on it lah. Mm. Yeah. So overall, it being a full red cigarette, I'll give it a 6 out of 10 to conclude. Uh, 6.5 out of 10 for menthol, as a full menthol. And in between, 2.5 out of 10. How about you? So for me, uh, to re reiterate, la, I'll give it reds a solid 6. Um, but mix, it's, it just brings it down to a 3 or 4. Yeah. Mm. Nothing much, really. And for menthols? As in, menthol itself, maybe... Maybe a three la. Three? Yeah. But it's really been diluted by the the red stuff. So Okay, so my take will be six point five out of ten la. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so um 
I think that concludes our video guys. So don't forget to leave a like as well as a comment down in the comment section what you want to see in the future videos as like um also to to point out what we, we miss as the qualities of cigarette as well as to subscribe for future content as it keeps us motivated. Yeah, if you haven't seen our previous videos, please check it out. You know we have great content on our channel and yeah, just keep up your subscription, keep up the likes, keep up the comments. We'll be coming up with even more exotic uh, cigarettes in the future. Yeah, Anything that keeps us going. As I mentioned before about the pulsating effect, please do check out the LD Purple Zooms because I explained it, like my take on it, uh, my theory. <clears throat> Alright, so um, that's, that's, that's the end of our video. Um, Stay strong, smoke on. Smoke on.